Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natural Vibration. So this is a pick a card reading of why did, what is blocking this reunion, all right? So we've got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Just pick one of the stones. I'm gonna start shuffling according to the stone. So what is blocking this union? So I'm getting this, by the way. So let's see what's what, all right? Let's start with the first stone, which is this. It's not really a rose quartz, but it's sort of like a rose quartz, all right? So let's start with this. So dear universe, pile number one, rose quartz. This could be a guy or a girl, but I'm using the word guy because it's easier. But, you know, just take what resonates. So, what is blocking this union? So, I'm actually going to do that and do that. There you go. <laughs> Oppa. Out, trick or treating. We are here. Interesting. It's blocking this union. What is blocking this union? Yes. All right. Grumpy red fairy. Be your true self. A clear solution. Lantern fairy. And ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. Interesting. So this person that you're thinking of, first and foremost, uh, what's blocking this connection? Now, this could apply for either of you, all right? This could, doesn't mean that it just has to be uh, when it comes to them. This could be even situations that are pertaining to you, all right? Because these are general. So the first off, before I pull some more cards, what I'm getting is that there is either them or you, okay? It could be vice versa. Um, they're being haunted. All right, they're being haunted by things from the past. This could be stuff from their childhood. This could be stuff from this connection. Either you or them, you're being haunted. You're, it says trick or treat, we are here. It's about hidden in the shadows. There is some stuff I feel that is to do with who you guys are as individuals. I'm going to say them, but this could be reversed. This could be happening towards you, and that could be blocking the union as well. I'm getting that one of you or both of you are not really being true to themselves. I feel like there's situations from the past that are haunting this person. And I think it has to do with self-worth. It has to do with self-love. It, it could be family stuff. It could be stuff growing up where they didn't feel like they truly you know, were good enough. Because it says be true to be your true self and somebody is wearing a mask somebody isn't being a true self and why are you not yourself is because when you feel that your true self isn't good enough so then you avoid being your true self and i feel either you or this person you know it could be either which way they definitely feel this they feel that there is something there's something from the past haunting them okay there is a clear solution there is a clear solution, all right? They're trying to find a clear solution. And I feel like there is one. And that is to be to realize how grateful you guys are, all right? And I feel like that's not really happening. You know, the big gratitude journal, something as simple as doing a gratitude journal makes a big difference. But I feel like that is not happening here, all right? They, they, this could be for both of you, I'm guessing, in different ways, you know. You're both not really truly uh, being grateful for how much and how far you've come, for what all you have in your life, you know. It's about being haunted by past and being stuck on situations from the past that make you feel like you can't be your true self, okay. And if you can't be your true self, because guess what, if you can't be your true self, that means you don't truly like who you are. And if you don't like and love who you are, then why should anybody else love you? Do you see? You see that pattern? And this could even be you. Uh, if you're in a twin flame dynamic, you know, it's patterns that happen to both because they kind of uh, reflect and mirror uh, each other off, right? So let's see what else. We've got lust. Okay, interesting. No, I've been told, well, yeah, there were three cards, right? Escapist. 
<laughs> what is that? Fell out? Jesus. Oh, sell out. Sorry, sell out, not fell out. How stupid. Shocking. And I'm guided to take one more. All right, we've got a bunch more. We shall take it. <sighs> Emptiness. All right, there's a lot of oh, pain, robotic disillusion. Okay. What's blocking this connection? Th there is lust here. Okay, there's like this deep attraction to each other. But I feel like that kind of takes a dark turn sometimes. You know, it's like it's lust, but it's also got this dark energy looming. Maybe they don't like the fact, or maybe you don't like the fact that you want them so much, or vice versa. You know, that there's this deep, strong connection and... Maybe you don't like it, you know. You don't want to be that attractive. I'm going to pick some of these cards, honestly. I mean, I'm not too fond of this deck. I only use this sporadically. But some of these cards I don't really get. But I'm just going to go with the ones that I feel work. Sell out. And sell out is going back to this thing. I feel like that this person or you, one of you, feels like they are a sell out. They don't think they're good enough. Maybe, for example, you are doing really well and you are sticking to your principle and you are being your true self. But this person is being haunted by the past and can't be their true self. And in a way, they feel like they're a sellout. All right? They feel like they can't be who they're meant to be because what they are is a sellout. And that, you know, they don't like that. They have this... Um, emptiness and pain inside them all right that they haven't been able to kind of deal with and that is going back to this because i have found personally that when you start being grateful especially if you start writing in a gratitude journal this feeling gets transformed you can change what's going on in your life but i don't think this person is doing that because they're completely disillusioned I'm not really sure what the shocking card is all about, but I feel like they get shocked. I don't, I feel like something happened between the two of you that kind of shocked you guys, one of them, both of them, but, and that made them sort of escape, all right? There was just something happened that either made one of you kind of run <laughs> run like crazy all right um and kind of get all now this person is disillusioned and they're kind of being all robotic see why do you act like a robot you act like this because you don't want to deal with the pain in order to avoid feeling pain you kind of numb yourself and become like this cold all right and that's what i'm kind of getting here i feel like this person is um so i feel like this could be somebody from you know from your past that um, something happened that really shocked them like maybe they weren't expecting it or maybe you weren't expecting it and that made one of them kind of not deal with the situation and sort of run away like ghost you guys or ghost each other or ghost one person ghost the other and now they're sort of being haunted by that they are being haunted by that and they can't really be their true self um, they, they feel like a sellout they have all this pain and emptiness inside and they don't think it can get better that this relationship can work. So they're not even trying to feel the emotions or trying to sort of work on these emotions. They're just sort of, you know, being a robot and hiding from it, you know, not being true who they are. But the universe is saying it's such an easy solution. All you have to do is be grateful for everything that you have. And the minute you start doing that, things kind of work itself out, you know? So I'm just going to just cleanse these cards a little. Come on, you know what? What else? Why is this? What's blocking this union for pal number one? Surrender and compromise. Yeah, I feel somebody has definitely been compromising who they are. Uh, they kind of need to surrender to it and rather than... Um, kind of compromising their beliefs i feel like they want to be who they are they want to be a certain kind of person but they can't and they are yeah so sorry cards fell out <laughs>
they are definitely compromising their beliefs we've also got admired and summer and what this is telling me is that something might happen in the summer months or something happened in the summer months last year a couple of years ago whenever um that made them compromise who they are or they feel like right now they're compromising but in the summer they might surrender they do admire you okay they admire how you are you know your own person they definitely feel very they really admire you for that and uh, yeah, they're, they're, they've got a lot of demons. They've got a lot of demons that they're not really facing. And rather than facing these demons and working through it, they're sort of being cold. Um, if there is, if you ever talk to this person, you might want to tell them about a gratitude journal because the universe is telling them that it is very easy and that this is you who's going through this. And even if you are not going through all, all of this, the universe is saying that if you work on being grateful for what you have and just let the rest go and just be grateful, grateful for every experience, grateful for whatever you have in your life, the universe will balance out the energies and you will get what it is that you want. But you can start off as simply as, you know, writing in a gratitude journal if that helps. All right, guys, so this is what's blocking this union at this moment, but there is a clear solution. Um, you just need to kind of work on gratitude, okay? All right, guys, I wish you all the best. Take care. All right, pile number two. Pile number two, what is blocking this union? So let's find that out. Let's find out what's blocking this union. So this was there. That's you guys, right? That's you guys. That's you guys. So what is blocking union? Now this, these readings could apply to you, but these are issues in you. These could be issues in your, in your partner or the person you're thinking of, or it could even be both of you. So just take what resonates, okay? What is blocking? All right, that was quick. Shallow grave, you miss someone. Oh, somebody misses you, or you miss them. What's blocking this union? Three little witches, magical space clearing. Okay, time to clear out all that energy which isn't serving you. many cards one more all right see it turned and it went back in so come on out oh, of you are. <laughs> this came up in pile number one as well so maybe you guys want to watch pile number one the grumpy red fairy being true to yourself all right so let's start off with these first you you or this person either or or both definitely miss each other all right, you guys definitely miss each other. This person definitely misses you. Um, yeah, that's what they want to say. This person misses you. I feel like there is some issues uh, where they're not truly being themselves. They may have been pretending that they don't miss you. They may be pretending or you may be pretending like this person um, uh, is not important to you and that you don't, that you don't, that you don't miss them, etc. But I'm guessing that... Um, I'm guessing that you do. There is a sp space clearing time. I feel like there is need for this negative energy to be cleared. I feel like there is a lot of past energy being held on by both of you or by one of you. Um, you need to start clearing that. Now, again, these are general. It could apply to your partner as well. I'm just going to say them, but it could mean both. You need to kind of clean up this energy you know remember what happens within is what is reflected outside and i feel like right now this person is definitely not um definitely stuck in some lower vibration energy and this could even be you because there is this energy of not being true to themselves or wearing a false mask and why do we do that we do that when we are still stuck in the past where we don't want the other person to know how we feel, where we just want to kind of be stuck in that energy of, 
uh, things are not working out or whatever the case might be okay and that needs to change all right you can't be stuck in that energy you have to clear the clear the space you have to let go of the past so what else is blocking this this union universe we have guarded shocking i never understand this card sell out okay definitely similar cards from the first deck so if you guys haven't watched the number one the card reading for this stone please watch it because um i think they're related um this person or one of you is definitely guarded something happened that shocked either of you uh, there's something happened in this connection that shocked you somebody feels like a complete sellout this was again in the earlier deck they feel like they can't be their true selves because their true self is a sellout it's not uh, it's not who they really are but but they can't show their true self because they're stuck in that negative energy that lower energy that needs to be cleaned or cleared i mentioned in the first card reading that the best way to clear energy is to go into this feeling of gratitude when you go into the spirit of gratitude things magically change things magically um, the energy slowly starts changing and that is really helpful so that something might be the key here as well the guarded energy is telling me that this person is definitely keeping you at bay they're not being honest with you or you're not being honest with them um, because they just there's they, even though you both miss each other okay there is this deep missing and you're but you're not being honest and instead of being honest and figuring out why you feel like a sellout and why can't you be your true self and clear out whatever's blocking you 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 or them or whoever is self-medicated you're over drinking over indulging overthinking this is the best way not to feel anything right but guess what the minute you stop drinking stop you the feeling comes back up there is a guard up the guard has been put up because they don't want to kind of show what they really feel they don't want to be who they truly are and i feel that that can change if they just clean their space clean their energy go do some reiki do some gratitude journal do go to a therapist do whatever uh, you know just needed to clear your energy space We've got reinvention. So yeah, this person wants, to, or you will apply either which way, wants to reinvent themselves. Contemplation, settling. The answer is no. Yeah. They miss you, but they're saying no. Be you know, they are in deep contemplation or you are in deep contemplation. Okay. Somebody is definitely thinking deeply about this connection. And somebody could even be settling they could be settling with somebody that doesn't truly make them happy because they can't say yes to this connection all right they do, because they want to be someone else i feel like the biggest thing that's blocking this connection is they don't this person or you either or don't really like who they really are for whatever reason so let's ask why why does this person want to is not being honest universe why is this person not being honest why is this person not telling or whoever this person our, our viewers or their partner whoever what's there you go refocus devotion fifth all right there is this deep connection that you guys feel in the 5d all right and uh, it's too much to handle this person or you one of you does just doesn't feel like you guys are good enough you feel like they feel like a sellout uh, whatever happened to you guys shocked them scared them shook them up and um, they feel it's better to settle for somebody who would hurt them less than to give in to you because they feel in order for them to be you to be with you they need to be a whole new person and this again could apply to how you are feeling as well that you are not good enough and that you need to be a better person to be with them and maybe that's what they're feeling the thing is the universe is saying is that there is this deep devotion here in this connection but but they need to focus on that the focus is not on the right thing there is this deep 5d connection there is this devotion but either party is not really focused on the good they're just focusing on the bad and the universe is saying what will help is to clear this energy if you clear this energy you will understand why 
gratitude journals, Reiki, EFT, um, life coaching, going to a therapist to figure out why do you feel less than worthy? Why do you feel you need to be a better person? What is in you that is making you feel like is rather than, than opening up my heart, I'd rather stay guarded and medicate myself rather than, you know, and settle with somebody rather than go after who I truly want. All right, so there are some deep emotional issues here, either for you or for your partner or both that need to be worked at because guess what? You guys have a very deep connection. You have a very deep 5D connection and I feel like you guys may not be talking right now and but there needs to be a need to focus on that. You got to refocus away from the negative and towards the positive, which is why I say something as simple as a gratitude journal works really, really well. All right, pile number two, I wish you all the best. If you like my readings, it will be great if you could please subscribe to my channel. And now let's go to the last one. The last pile is something that I think I also felt attracted to. There was the black stone. So let's see what's in store for us. This box, I am trying to hide the logo, but Bacardi gave me a free box. <laughs> they give me one, you know, something like this every year. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't have that on the video. But hey man, they gave me, it was so cool. They gave me a box with a Bacardi uh, music system, like with the logo, like a small uh, music system kind of thing, like a Bluetooth system. And they gave me a bottle of Bacardi, even, you know, with my name on it. So instead of Bacardi, it said Dritnika. How cool is that? I've kept that. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna give it away or anything. It's so cool. All right, pile number three. Ah, oh, this is what I got as well. So pile number three. Guys, these are general. So take what resonates. And if you do like my readings, it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. All right, dear universe, pile number three. What does, what is blocking this union? What is blocking something? Dun. Again, I feel they're all connected. They're all three. We are here trick or treating. Guys, if you haven't watched the first two readings, I'm definitely feeling that this time all the three readings are connected. So I suggest you watch the whole video. Yeah. All right. What is blocking this connection? What is blocking this union from happening? Dress of alchemy. Release your power. Okay, I have never got this card before. Interesting. And something else drawn. Ooh. Sea beacon. Fa sea beacon fairy. Guidance. But where will it lead you? Ooh. See, oh, it's all dark. It's ominous. Ominous. All right, so let's start. Oh no, my stupid cam uh, computer still keeps going to sleep and I have to do that. It's just, yeah, it's still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. This person, uh, again, these are general, so this could relate to your person, this could relate to you or it could relate to both, okay? So just take how it works. Somebody's being haunted by the past and this has come out in the first card deck as well. What this is saying is that this person or you or both are being haunted by what happened in the past. You guys might be reliving the past situation. You might be thinking what happened over and over again. You might be, be like judging yourself, judging each other, just sort of rehashing the past over and over again. All right. So you're sort of being haunted by it. We've got the dress of alchemy. There is this power. I feel like both of you have this immense power within you, but you're not really using it, okay? Uh, with great power comes great responsibility, right? That's what we've been told by every Marvel com uh, comic out there. But I feel like you guys are not even using your power. You have this deep power. You realize that you have this power to make things okay. You have the power to kind of get back together. You have the power of making everything work out, but you guys are not doing that. See Beacon Fairy, guidance, but where will it lead you? So I feel like you're being guided or your partner, both of you. I feel like both of you, and this applies to me, so because I got the black stone as well, and that 
you both are being guided by the universe. But do you know where you want to go? The thing is, the universe can't help us unless we are very clear on what it is that we want. Okay? How law of attraction works. And this is something I'm telling you from my personal experience as well. All right? This is not something I'm telling you just from reading a book or watching videos. But this is by me using law of attraction. And how it works is that you must be very clear on your end goal. If you truly want something or somebody, you should not let anything come in the way. In fact, you got to live in the end, which means you have to live in a place where that thing has already happened. And in fact, it's not that it just happened. It has happened and we are like a month in advance. So say you want to be with this person rather than visualizing or imagining or thinking that you guys are together, uh, that you're going to get together. You should visualize you guys being happily married with a kid and with a dog and just having a regular Sunday morning in bed drinking coffee being completely happy. That signifies you guys, your wish has been fulfilled. That's what you visualize. The same as when you write in your gratitude journal, I am so grateful. You don't like, I'm so grateful this person is coming back to me, right? I'm so grateful. I'm happily married to the love of my life. I'm so grateful, blah, blah, blah. Because then you're setting your intentions very clear. This is what I want. And when you set your intentions clear, that's when the universe comes and helps you get there. But if you're like, no, I want this, but I don't want this. Oh, I should want it. But you're completely confused. And the universe has no idea where you want to go. And that's what this card is telling you. I think what's blocking this union is you both are not really being clear on where you want to go. And the universe has been advising you. But I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or if you guys or the universe cannot advise you properly because you keep changing your mind. Remember, you both have the power to get anything you want, which means if you want this connection, you can have it. And if you want someone else, someone new, you can have that too. But you have to be clear on what it is that you want. If you want this person, then you must decide, okay, this is the person I want and that's it. I'm not going to just decide that for a day and then shift my energy the next day. You know what I mean? Be committed and see what happens. You have the power to manifest and let the past go. Because right now the past is definitely blocking this. You're not thinking about, oh, God fell out again. Sorry, guys. <sighs> it just goes under the table and it just, all right. Oh, wow, look at that. And this is the card that flew out. So this was like a very strong message. It's power. Under the power card. We've got secondary. And we've got medicating. Yep. I feel like I want to get one more or two more. One more. What's blocking this connection? All right. Thank you. Okay. And we got three. Okay. Same cards. It's the same bloody cards, man. <laughs> What the hell? Definitely all three are related. There could be some self-worth issues. Definitely check out the earlier two reading, guys. Um, shocking. Something happened that shocked this connection that made one of them or both of them feel like they were less than worthy, that like they were a sellout. Um, we've also got the guarded card. Now, what this is telling me is, and the new cards are power and secondary and medicating. So this part, there is... The, the people who want, okay, whoever this is watching this, both parties, one party, whatever it is, you're not really going after what it is that you want. You're keeping it on the back burner. You're keeping it as secondary. And that if you are like, hey, I, I want this connection, then maybe it's your partner who's doing that, okay? Secondary. Maybe they don't feel like they're good enough. Maybe they feel like they're secondary or you feel like you're secondary or you're putting this relationship on the back burner. Rather than using the power, see, this is a very strong message, power. Rather than using the power that you have to get this connection back into union, you guys have not been going at it. You've been keeping it on the back burner. And you know what? I completely get it because I got this card too. I feel like rather than focusing on the union, you're focusing on numbing the feelings. You're focusing on drinking and just hiding and medicating yourself so you don't feel 
the past coming back rather than using the tools that you have already to manifest this connection you guys there is somebody you guys are being guarded this person or you both could be feeling very guarded keeping your step away because you don't want to go there something happened that shocked you something happened that shocked them and that made you guys feel like you weren't good enough like you were a sellout and now you're just not dealing with it all right and the sad part is you have two cards right here telling me that you can make this connection happen you have the power to make it happen you're just not using it you know you've got to use this this power too many cards oppa what is blocking this connection devotion all right so you guys are definitely devoted to each other that's the, that's the thing <sighs> guys oh commitment stuck numbing okay now i'm getting a couple of different scenarios to so take what resonate some persons one of you could be stuck in a different relationship I'm getting for some of you, um, you may be already committed to somebody else. This could be a relationship, a marriage, could be anything. And that feels like you're stuck. They feel like they want, there is this connection here. And rather than facing this connection, they're trying to stay devoted to their current partner by numbing out their feelings, by medicating themselves, by putting this whole thing on the back burner. And that would explain why the energy that they have to create this is not being utilized. That's why they're not being very clear on where they want to go because they don't know what to do about the situation. But they are still haunted. They are still haunted by you, haunted by this connection. Or this could be you. So take it, you know, whichever way. The other scenario I'm getting is that this person wants a commitment with you, but they are stuck and they're numbing themselves. But why are they stuck? Because they, they feel like a sour. So there are two scenarios. Could be both. Could be either. Could be them. Could be you. But if this is somebody that who is already in a commitment of sorts, maybe you are not aware of it, you know. They feel stuck. They don't know how to get out of it. They're haunted by you. And yeah, technically you have the power to walk out, right? You have the power to say goodbye. But... It'll end up hurting a lot of people and maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe they don't want to do that. So they're trying to stay devoted to them. But at the same time, they're numbing their feelings by over drinking, over medicating, overthinking. They're not using the power that they have. They don't feel like they're good enough. They don't, they feel like it's gonna, like, they feel like a sellout. They feel like a sellout because they can't go after what it is that they truly want, which is you, you know? They definitely feel like a sellout because of that as well. I feel sad. Oh, I think I'm after this, I'm going to do a reading and what steps are going to be taken by the person because we'll see where it leads. All right, guys. Well, this is what's blocking the union at this time. I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.